Clinical Stage Oncology Company Avacta Group has moved its therapeutics division to a new headquarters at Scalespace in Imperial College's White City campus, London. I'm Megan Thomas, multimedia editor at DDW, and I attended the Open Day on the 28th of September to learn more about the company's intentions. First, I spoke to Neil Bell, Chief Development Officer at Avacta. Can you provide an overview of the work that Avacta is carrying out here? Yes, so basically we actually are working on two platforms, the Precision Platform and the Athema Platform. The Precision Platform is a mass chemotherapy technology where we can attach a linker, a dipeptide, to a chemotherapy, a warhead, and actually that will inactivate the warhead as it goes into the body until it reaches the tumour and then it becomes activated by FAP which is a fibroblast activation protein, which is specific to our linker. And then the other platform is AFM, which are small biologicals. So we are aiming to actually target the tumour microenvironment. Next, I spoke to Dr. Fiona McLaughlin, Chief Scientific Officer at Avacta. Where do you see development taking place in oncology in the future? So I think it's really important to be open-minded not always just follow the trends, but think about where you can go. So with our platforms, it's really thinking, so with 6,000, we call that the pathfinder. So that demonstrates that the technology, the hypothesis, the scientific hypothesis is correct. Once you've done that, then it's working with all the people we have in the team to say, right, what's next? Where do we go? What are technologies that we can add on to precision? Where does Avacta see the opportunities and challenges in this field? So the challenges for the AFIMA platform are really to find targets which we feel are worthwhile pursuing from uh, an efficacy and a safety point of view, and a mechanism of action point of view, and, and a commercial opportunity as well. So we're actively developing the AFIMA platform and candidates, various candidates, to look at those specific targets and to assess them um, from you know, everything that I've said earlier. In terms of the precision platform, it's really to identify those chemotherapies where there is a high unmet need in patients and really identify the relevant linkers and then through medicinal chemistry actually develop those linkers and develop those drug candidates and take them into the clinic as quickly as possible. What opportunities will come from bringing together the research and development teams into this one hub? So that, that was a really important thing for us was to be able to do that. So I've worked in many different companies where research is on one site. So I started off at Glaxo, I've come to Stevenage. So research is up at Stevenage headquarters or down in London. And you never see the other, the other, the other side. <laughs> um, and actually that really, really doesn't make sense because when you're, we were just talking earlier about bench to bedside, so when you're developing a drug, you need to understand your patient population that you're going to head towards. And when you're in that patient population, you need to be figuring out what else can I do, what, what do I combine it with? Um, how should I dose it? Is it weekly? Is it twice a week? Is it once a month? So all of those um, functions cross over. So actually, when I, um, when I joined the company, my title was Head of Translational Science. So it's translating research into development. And that's not a one-way flow, it's, it's uh, that way and then back again. So actually, for the guys here that were mainly research when they were in Littlesford, it's a fantastic opportunity to talk to Neil and the clinical team mm -hmm. and learn about the drug. Sometimes you get, you're in research and then you hand your molecule over to the clinical team and you never see it again. <laughs> so it's a, it's a really big part of what we wanted to create here. Excellent. Um, so the company's first in human trials of ABA 6000 recently advanced and can you elaborate on why this is so significant for Avacta? Absolutely, so it's transformational for the company because now you are standing up as a, you could say Avacta is a clinical oncology development company and that's just one strap line that summarises the therapeutics part of, of the business. Um, there are many, many um, you know, research these companies that don't make it into the clinic so making it into the clinic demonstrates um, credibility. It was clear that from this open day and from speaking to Neil and Fiona, there is a lot to look forward to in the future for Avacta. 
If you are enjoying this content, you can now view Drug Discovery World content online on your mobile or tablet or via the DDW app, which can be downloaded via the App Store or Google Play. Thanks for watching.